Excel style print on demand tutorial. Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to use viral style print on demand. With viral style, you'll be able to upload your design for completely free onto different products. All you'll need to do is go onto viralstyle.com and then from there, you can create an account in the top right hand corner. You could tap on sign in. After you have tapped on sign in, you can tap on start selling. Once you have tapped on start selling, you're going to tap on get started and then you'll be redirected to this page. On this page, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you have a few options right here. You can either select the design templates, add text, or you could choose a different product if you don't want to add it on a short sleeve t-shirt. You can choose either long sleeve, hoodies, or so on. So let's say we were to tap on upload image and here is a design that I had created earlier. Now to create this design, all I did was go on to canva.com, create an account for completely free and then type in t-shirt. After you have done that, you'll see thousands of t-shirt logos that you can choose from. And you can quickly edit any one of those logos and then upload it onto any print on demand platform. So you can see how it looks right here. Once it is there liking, you're going to tap on next. After tapping on next, from here you can add any additional products or information and you can see the estimated profit that you'll be making. Then you're going to tap on next once more. Once you have tapped on next from here, you can add a title for your product. So for example, I'll just call it test product. Then you could add in a description and you can also see the URL and you can choose a category if you want. So you can select a category right there and you can also add in tags and so on. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on launch in the bottom right hand corner. So you can see the following fields are required to create the campaign. Campaign description and agreement. So let me tap on that right there. So I'll select that. And then I'll scroll up, you can see the campaign length. So the campaign will begin Tuesday, October 8th. And you can see right there, you can select the total days or so on, but I'll leave it as is. And then you can scroll back up and you will just add in a quick description right here. So I'll just type in test product for example sake. After you have done that, if you would like to add upsell, you could do that by tapping on add upsell. And then from there, you could search for a particular product and you could add an upsell. But I'll just scroll down and tap on launch. Once you have tapped on launch, you can see email address validation required. And we'll tap on that. And then we'll go into our email address and verify our email. Once your email has been verified, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you can share your product URL or your shop URL. So for example, if I were to tap on the URL right here to copy it and then paste it in a new tab, you can see how it looks. So this is it right here. Just give it a few seconds while it is being rendered. So that's how it is going to look. This is how your shop is going to look right here. Again, all you need to do is go into viral style and from there, you can copy the link. It is not the most user friendly or advanced print on demand platform as I would definitely recommend Printify or Printful over viral style, but it does. It's okay. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button.